Section two. All right, we're not going to do section one. Okay. So on section two, what we're going to do, guys, is I'm just going to talk a little bit more about a parabola. So far, really, in this class, we just talked about the parabola. And we talked about a parabola in pretty much in its standard form, right? And really, the only thing we dealt with on a parabola was we said that you know, that was your vertex or your minimum, right? And you also had a maximum um, if it was flipped the other way. <coughs> then we also talked about having an axis of symmetry, right? So then we also had an axis of symmetry. Right? So pretty much that's what we kind of talked about. The other two things that we went through was um, we wrote an equation. So that was like the parent graph, but we could also write it as a standard form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Right? That was kind of more of our um, standard form. And then we also worked on how to find transformations. How do you shift the graph up, down, left, right? And to do that, we had to complete the square to get us to this formula, y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Okay. So, But what I'm going to do for you guys today is we're going to kind of go through a little bit more different definition of a parabola. Rather than just saying, hey, a parabola looks like this. It has this formula. It has a vertex and axis symmetry. Now I'm going to describe a parabola in a little bit different light. All right. So let's look at a parabola. All right. So the definition, actually, before we get to a parabola, we still know it's going to have a vertex, right? And it's still going to have an axis of symmetry. So those are key tenets. Those are correct. We already know those. All right. But those aren't going to be a part of your definition of a parabola. There's a lot of things that has a maximum and a minimum and an axis of symmetry, right? Think about even an absolute value function. That has a max and a min and an absolute value and, a, and, and symmetry, right? So just saying something that has a, a vertex and something that has an axis of symmetry does not explain exactly a parabola. It could be an absolute value function, right? All right. So the definition of a parabola, all right, is going to be the set of points that are equidistant from a point which we call the focus to a line which we call the directrix. All right? I know this doesn't probably even look right. Let me maybe redraw my parabola here. Just try to make it. I'm just trying to make it a little bit better. Okay, I'm not very good at doing this, but pretty much, guys, what a parabola is, all right, is. This line is what we call the directrix. Okay? So if we take a point on a parabola, the distance from that point on the parabola to the focus, all right, is going to be exactly the same. It doesn't matter where that point is. I'm not the best drawer in the world, but it's all supposed to be the same. OK? So that is going to be your basic definition of a parabola, a set of points that are equidistant from a given point, which we call the focus, to a line, which we call the directrix. Okay? So that is going to be your definition. We're going to use now the focus and the directrix to help us solve and graph parabolas. Rather than just focusing on the vertex and axis symmetry, we're now going to use these pieces of information to help us out. OK? Um, yes. 
There also is another line 